Love the eye on these guys. Nice one. <laughs> Check them out. Okay, good morning guys, beginning of day two. Let me just say it was a bloody long night last night. I don't think I slept at all, actually. Um, it was sort of like wind against wave direction, which kept us sideways all night and was like, we were really rocking around. Um, and then I'm always stressed about, I don't mind anchoring in like little blue holes and little lagoon areas and stuff, but we're pretty exposed here. So just worried about anchor drifting and all that sort of stuff, so. Um, yeah, didn't get much sleep, but day's looking pretty good. Sun's not up yet out here, so we're gonna uh, we're gonna snoop around the reef and chuck a few lures around. Yep, yep, yep. Something small. Sort of red bass to kick things off today. Love the eye on these guys. Big bright yellow eye. There you go, mate. Looks like we got some bait hanging out here. Oh, it's been snipped. Shit. Snipped right at the knot. <laughs> Long Tom. I hate these things. Such needle teeth. Whoa. Ah. Dude, you go back over there. <laughs> Check them out. Oh yeah. That's cool. That's weighty. All right, buddy, where you go? <laughs> yeah, as soon as that hit. <laughs> Tricked ya. Oh, this is solid. I think it's a red bass, but feels feels chunky. <laughs> oh. 
Yeah. Nice one. Yeah. He's fat. You can see this guy's tail has been munched by a shark or something. But that's a pretty, uh, another pretty solid bass. The GTs are still being elusive. Oop. That was not a very delicate entry. So I think the uh, lack of sleep is taking its toll on us and we've had a bit of a gulf full of casting poppers and stick baits. So while it's still early, while it's still potential for, you know, a billfish or big yellowfin bust up, we're gonna do some trawling. We're gonna to start to head back in the homeward direction. We're like about 100 and 140 k's from home or something. So yeah, it's gonna be a big day today. So not much luck trawling along there for, I don't know, an hour or two. A couple little hits from, uh, like a couple of inquiries, I guess, from some marlin, but nothing was uh, too committed. So we've stopped that now at a nice little patch. This place looks amazing. Probably not the best time of the tide for it, but it looks just too good not to just throw a couple of lures. So we'll, we'll throw a few topwater lures around here and see if we can get something to have a sniff. Got it. Me old mate. <laughs> oh, he's just thrown up an octopus. Wow. Sorry, mate. You got ripped off. So, not a bad red bass. Story of my day today. GTs are evading me, but I'm getting plenty of, plenty of these guys. Hunter and I have both decided that it just looks far too good here not to get in. <laughs> so we've given fishing a break. We're going to jump in. Hunter's actually got his new scuba gear. So he's uh, he's going to give that a bit of a run. Awesome little area to do it. Um, I'll just be free diving. I'm gonna, we're both going to take guns just in case we see something worth grabbing for dinner. Um, but most of all, it's just a, a look and an explore. But have a look at the colors. I hope that's turning out as good in the camera as it is through my sunnies. This looks stunning.
Well, I'm so glad that we just jumped in and did that. That was bloody amazing. The corals there were stunning. I don't know exactly how much I got on the GoPro. I didn't have my weight belt, which made it suck for filming. But the amount of little caves and swim throughs and overhangs and all, like hard corals were crazy. There's a few little soft corals around. Heaps like parrotfish and red bass and small moo. Like amazing, amazing, amazing. Look at this place. The fluffy white clouds, turquoise water, green island, bloody awesome. Anyway, that's us done here. We're gonna move on. We're gonna start chipping our way, heading back closer towards home as well. Keep our eyes peeled for bird activity. We'll probably trawl a fair bit of the way, just for, you know, take some time, take our time and have the lures out and see what, see what hits. Jelly bean, whoa, <laughs> little jelly bean uh, yellow fin. I need to grow back and uh, get bigger. Yeah. Or get shot. Oh, man. Get shark? Get shark straight up. Oh, yeah. Ah! One's either big or I've been sharked. I've been sharked. Dude! Oh my goodness. Shark you think or just a big tuna? I think I got sharked. I think I had a pretty good sized tuna on. And the shark broke the hook when yeah it because it was already peeling good line and then it went next level that's uh fiji hooks for you yeah anyone who's in australia or the us and they're subscribers and you really like have a soft spot for me send me some hooks from <laughs> anywhere but fiji these guys are actually following the boat <laughs> Camera shy. So I actually just said to Hunter that we'll do one more pass on the on the spot where the tuna are hanging, um, and then we'll go and see if we can find a bigger school. Like head closer to home and see if we can find a bigger school. But we actually hit some bigger fish then. Um, they were pulling a lot more drag. They hit harder and pulled a lot more drag than anything else. And we got a triple hook up just then, and all three of them got sharked. So we're just feeding the sharks and breaking gear. So, so we'll turn and we'll head for home. On the buzzer. Yeah, underneath that. Maybe it's not a mate. A 
better get the gas. Okay. Uh, yeah. Well, you'd swear it's probably even a different day than when I just spoke to you guys <laughs> getting those little yellow bits. It's like we just had this front come in and it's just turned real shitty. But we just trolled all the way all the way back. We didn't see any real convincing bus stops to like warrant us sort of you know deviating course. I didn't want to go catch more small yellow fin or skip jack so, so we just kept heading in and, and then just then we actually did see some good activity. Um, Good birds, like there's the crappy little birds and there's the big like the frigates and the boobies and stuff. So we saw that, we went over there and there were mahi jumping out of the water. And I thought we had a mahi on but uh, Hunter got that scad mackerel, which believe it or not, I reckon they taste wicked. Like so much like chicken, like the texture. Um, any chicken dish that you cook, you can use that scad mackerel and use it. And well, everybody that I know back in Australia, it's bait, everyone just classes it as bait but they taste so good and I've converted some people. Sam, the wet mammal, if you're watching this, you know how good they are. <laughs> so sadly, we're coming to an end of a, a massive couple of days. Um, surprising that I'm not exhausted right now because, like I said, I didn't really sleep last night, but it's just been so much happening, so much good stuff happening that, you know, you just sort of keep going. I'll probably, I'll probably fall in a screaming heap when I get home. But yeah, I'll do it all again tomorrow and the next day and the next day <laughs> and not get enough of this stuff. So if you really like the more sort of out wide adventures, like lots of fishing and spear fishing and stuff like that, um, I've made this little playlist. If you click up on the top corner here, it'll take you through to a playlist that um, will share more videos that we've done like that style. So I hope you guys really enjoyed the video. Drop in the comments and let us know. It really does help and support the channel. The more comments you can leave, the more likes you can give. And obviously, if you like this sort of stuff, I would say consider subscribing. Uh, you know, we're gonna continue to make more and more content as we go on. 